Hello, how are you? Welcome to See You Up, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans. And we learn from the world as well and promote positive development around the world. I want to commend Canada, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, for some of the measures that have been put in place to curtail, to address the, the impact of... Um, of a major way of addressing, constraining the spread of coronavirus, which is mainly through lockdown and quarantine. As part of its emergency aid measures, Prime Minister Trudeau has put in place about $9 million, which will go to call centers to empower children locked in in its time of lockdown to be able to call should they require some form of protection, So, because most kids are not going to school under the lockdown. Now, this is very critical, and this is a very important measure from Canada's Prime Minister. We must note that under the lockdown of, of, um, around Ebola, in a country, for instance, like Sierra Leone, the rate of adolescent pregnancy went up in 2015. So apparently, the rights of children were being violated under the lockdown. Through this lockdown or quarantine, Children who had escaped, were able to escape and have access to school, will be locked down with their abusers. And it's critical that children are provided with some tools, some resources, to, because they are not going to school. School can be a form of protection in terms of providing additional nutrition, food. So through lockdown, these resources will be constrained. Initiative that has been taken by the Prime Minister of Canada is an, a very critical example for the protection of children. I'm hoping other countries would learn from this. We need to protect the rights of children who are going to be locked down, sometimes in some cases, with their abusers. Setting up a hotline, as the Prime Minister of Canada has just done, is a critical, very strategic and important way to go to continue to uphold the rights of the child in these times of lockdown and quarantine. Thank you. Well done, Canada.